If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please consider hitting the like button. It really does help the video out, even if I don't deserve it because I'm terrible at video games. And if you want to follow me on Twitter for absolutely no reason, the link for that is down below. Now, if you do need any coins, head over to u7buystore.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a discount. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to a brand new video and I need your help because I cannot for the life of me decide whether this card is banging or crap and there's no in between here, it's either very good or it is not very good at all and I can't, like, it's really weird because with most cards you know, you know, Veghorst, I'm going to keep banging on about him until, well, until I stop playing FIFA but um, you know full well he is insane, you, you start a game and you know he is the type of player who can change the game for you. Munyain is one of those cards that I feel like has the potential to be able to change the game, but does so very rarely. He scored one banging goal for me, which doesn't necessarily mean oh, he's crap because he only scored one banging goal, but it was a goal that I think you could put into the category of game changer. You know, he, he could stand up and score that type of goal for you, and that would Put, put him a, a cut above most cards, but then there are other times where shots are woeful despite having uh, 95 finishing with a Hawk. Without without the Hawk, it's still 90 finishing. That's very, very high, and yet his finishing doesn't necessarily feel that great. His passing is 92 short passing, 91 vision. It's okay. It doesn't feel anything spectacular. His pace is in the 90s for acceleration, it's in the high 80s for sprint speed, with the Hawk of course it goes into 99-93, so he's got an awful lot going for him, this is basically a Trent clip, Munyain finishes it off, but it is all player of the month Trent, he runs the entire length of the field, gets in, down to the byline, passes it across, and it's a tap in for Munyain, who is not going to miss from there, so you can kind of disregard that, I think it's going to be a little bit difficult unless you've used the card to determine whether he's good or bad. Uh, I think, you know, you can look at the stats and say, well, you know, he's got this, he's got that, and blah, blah, blah. The weak foot for me wasn't a problem. Three-star weak foot, I always bang on why cards or when cards don't have four-star, four-star, or whatever. But in this instance, he's got four-star skills. That's enough for me. I don't necessarily need him to have that weak foot. And there are a few flashes of brilliance. This is the goal. Like... He dances around three or four players there, scores, and the guy actually rage quits because he just tore him a new one. He he literally danced through him. And you don't need to use skill moves in this game to be able to do things like that. Great ball from Veghorst. Monyain's going to play in Yari Lippmann, who is fast becoming one of my top goal scorers in my club. He just He's there constantly, scores so many goals. Um, I don't know. I really do not know if this card is good or bad. I don't think I've done... A review like this for a long time where I don't actually know the the outcome. He can score some good goals and he can be quick and, and nimble and agile and you've seen him break through the middle as you are right here. He gets in on goal, he sends the defender the wrong way and he scores a nice goal. And when you look at his stats and you think, well, you know, he's played like four or five games, he's got more goals than games, he's got more than half the assists as he, that he does have games. He has to be good, right? And yeah, but I just didn't really enjoy him as much as I thought I would do. That, you know, that I wasn't expecting that to go in. I should have taken another touch or whatever. So you can look at some of these chances and say, well, the ones that you missed, you shouldn't be scoring anyway, to be fair. And the ones that you have scored, I mean, that was a good goal. Uh, like, good finish, not a good goal. It was cheese, but it was a good finish. But um, yeah, don't know what to think about this card. Have you used Munyain? And if you have, can you let me know whether you like him or not, or whether you can actually make your mind up? Because I've got no idea whether this is a good card or not. I didn't really enjoy him, but he scores goals and he gets assists and he doesn't feel that bad. He just wasn't a card that I really enjoyed that much. If you've got a card in FIFA 22 that you know full well is a good card and works and scores goals and gets assists, but for some reason you don't like them, let me know who it is in the comment section down below. I'd be very interested to maybe go through some of those cards and try them out to see if I feel the same way because there are a lot of cards in FIFA that do the business, but I just do not like them and I don't know why. If you have enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye. Thank you.